Welcome to this quick demo video. We're going to be going over the setup, installation, and usage of our new software, O1V Web Controller. This is a wired and wireless remote control surface over MIDI for the Yamaha O1V. Um, it does need a wired host connected over MIDI. So in this case, we're just using our laptop here, hooked over a USB to MIDI cable here into our O1V. Now to get started, it's a good idea to zero your board. So we'll just go memory and recall um, our initialization. And then we're going to go into MIDI. We're going to start on page one here. Just to make sure that your control change RX and TX are on, the channels are one, and your MIDI port is set up. Now we're going to page over to page three. And we want to make sure we're going to start by initializing our MIDI parameters into O3D mode. And then you need to set up parameters 50 through 53, like so. And parameters, one second, 13 through 16, like so. All the other parameters by default were set up correctly, but these uh, were just some missing controls that I wanted, so those are things you have to manually add. After that's done, the console is completely set up. We can then move on to our computer here, and we need to download the package. There's two ways to do that. We can either use NPM, um, using, one second, let me find it, the NPM install command there, or the git clone command there. Um, actually, let's spell the wrong controller. There we go. These are both uh, linked down below, available in the GitHub repository. There's full instructions there. Um, obviously, I used the npm install command because I am in my node modules folder. So you need to enter the directory, and we're just gonna launch npm start. This will automatically install the dependencies, and it will launch the interface. So here we have the interface. We can go ahead and select our input and output devices. We're going to be using USB MIDI. And then we can select our web port. Let's do 3001. By default, it's 3000. Um, and the first time you do this, it is going to uh, ask for permission to launch the web server. I've already done this, so it doesn't ask. But um, you'll need to grant permission the first time you launch it. If you have trouble connecting, there's likely a firewall issue blocking the port you selected, so you'll need to look into that, make sure that uh, you're on the correct IP address and that the port is not blocked. But now we have the IP address um, that it detects that you should connect to through your web browser or on a different device. Then we have a button to launch the local interface. So if we hit that, it launches the desktop version. So here's the interface. It's pretty basic. We have um, our faders. And then the names down at the bottom act as buttons for on and off. Um, this is multi-touch compatible. And then we have our different pages. Channel banks and our output buses and our pan pots. Um, with the pan pots, you can move them over and then click the name to reset them to the default value. And then now I will show you the uh, mobile version. So here we have the page loaded on our phone um, and it says please use landscape. So we'll just flip the phone in landscape and there is our interface. Now it's a little smushed here but we have these buttons up here. We have the refresh and the uh, full screen toggle button. So we can click that and it'll put us in full screen mode. If for some reason there's a connection issue, we can refresh and that will automatically refresh the interface. Oops, knocked over the sand. Okay, the system however works best as a mobile web app rather than a website. So on desktop or mobile, you can hit the uh, dots in the corner and open up add to home screen. Now this will add an icon to your home screen or your desktop, depending on what device you're using. Um, and now we can go and launch that. See, there's the new icon. 
and it's a, a larger view. Um, this is much more, uh, it's designed much better for phones because it adds more spacing in between the buttons so you're less likely to accidentally push anything. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the mobile web app version. Now I want to show you the real-time response um, between the different devices. So I'll just prop this up on the laptop here. So here you can see the phone and the laptop. And as I change the parameter on one, it changes in real time on the other. So we have real time input and output response between the two devices. Now the more interfaces you have connected, uh, the slower the response is going to be. But this is just a laptop and it's obviously able to handle these two interfaces just fine. Okay, so now we can go and look on the console itself. So here I have the uh, phone app next to the real console and we can compare the input and output. So the input from the board to the phone is slightly slower. You'll see there's some input lag. Um, if you had a faster processor or a better network, the network I'm on right now is not the greatest. Um, that's why it's probably good to use an isolated network for this. Um, the input can have some lag, but the output is uh, pretty much instantaneous. You can see there. So while your input to the phone might not be as fast, the output from the phone is uh, pretty much real time. And this is a multi-device system. So uh, you can have multiple interfaces open as long as your network is fast enough for that. Um, and the input and output commands will uh, sync with all the devices that are connected. That way you can have multiple people, not just a person on the phone and a person on the console, um, but you can have multiple people on the phone or a tablet or a desktop um, all controlling these different pages at the same time. And it will be syncing those commands across all the systems. Uh, I think I stated earlier, but this is a cross-platform system. Um, the host server can be any device that runs Node, and uh, the interface can be run on any web browser uh, that has support for uh, these libraries. So that is pretty much all. I hope you enjoy the system. Um, if you have any issues or any questions, let me know.